Results from the 32nd edition of the CMO survey examine reoccurring questions related to marketing spending and performance, marketing leadership, and marketing jobs. In addition, managing marketing technology, generative AI, growth, and sustainability are special topics covered in this edition. Here are the top takeaways, which are based on a sample of 292 marketing leaders at for-profit U.S. companies, 94% of whom hold positions of VP level or higher. Over three-fourths of companies surveyed are using marketing technologies, with high-revenue organizations leading. Companies spend 19.9% of marketing budgets on MarTech. This is expected to grow to 23.5 in one year and 30.9 in five years. Approximately 62% of marketing activities use MarTech tools, up from 58.4% just one year ago. At the same time, only 56.4% of all MarTech tools purchased are being used. The focus in managing MarTech is reported to be on optimizing existing tools, identifying tools for stronger customer experience, and identifying tools that can be linked together to form powerful capabilities, while hiring and retaining talent and creating a shared cross-enterprise strategy are given less attention. MarTech impact on company performance is evaluated at 4.7 on a seven-point scale, where one is not at all and seven is a great deal. Nearly half of MarTech leaders report a 34% gap between actual MarTech payoffs and their hopes for these payoffs. Marketing leaders report their weakest performance is on hiring staff to manage MarTech and on integrating MarTech across other data systems in the company. AI has had an overall positive effect on marketing organizations. Marketing leaders report that sales productivity has improved by an average of 5.1% due to AI, customer satisfaction has improved by an average of 6.1%, and marketing overhead costs have decreased by an average of 7%. Companies are using generative AI in only 7% of marketing activities, pointing to a massive opportunity. In fact, while a buzz in the media, only 10% of companies are using large language models and 39% have not used such tools, while the remainder are either evaluating or piloting the use of large language model tools. For leaders who are integrating generative AI into their marketing organizations, challenges abound with the most vexing being minimizing bias and investing in necessary hardware. However, even for core strategy challenges, such as ensuring generative AI produces a good fit for their brand and a good fit for their target markets, these receive only average ratings for how well AI is being managed. Marketing leaders report their largest revenue markets are growing at a rate of 12.1% per year on average. Companies operating in service markets are growing at nearly twice that rate, 16.7, compared to product markets at 9.4%. Focusing on their own companies, average revenues are growing faster than markets at 16.4%, with B2B companies growing faster at 19.1% than B2C companies at 11.5%. In explaining why their companies are growing faster than markets, leaders cite strategy differentiation, go-to-market capabilities, and strategy execution as the top reasons. For those growing at slower rates than markets, leaders cite underfunded strategies, not having the right go-to-market capabilities, and undifferentiated strategies as the top reasons. Spending on sustainability or climate-related issues increased to 1.9% of marketing budgets in the last year, from 1.2% a year ago. These budgets are predicted to increase to 2.8% in one year and 4.5% in five years. This growth is predicted to be especially prominent within B2B services companies. However, nearly one-third of companies are not using marketing to address climate change risks especially in sectors like B2B product and B2C services. Of those companies taking actions, the most common are changing products and services, with 52.1% of companies reporting this change, followed by changing partners at 42.9%, changing marketing promotions at 40.3%, and changing distribution at 33.6%. These levels have not yet reached those reported during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. 25.6% of companies are adopting climate-related metrics, up from 18.7% two years ago.
Marketing budgets as a percentage of company budgets are 10.2%, continuing a downward trend from a high of 13.8% in 2022, but not quite at its pandemic low of 9.8% in 2021. In contrast, marketing budget as a percentage of company revenues increased to 10.1%, up from 9.2% in the fall of 2023. Overall marketing spending is expected to grow by 4.7% from an actual growth of 2.5 in the last year, while digital marketing spending growth is expected to cool to 8% from 8.9% actual growth in the last year. Relative to the prior 12 months, growth in spending on customer relationship management, brand building, and customer experience are predicted to slow in the next 12 months. While the overall level of investments remain positive, the drops in CRM investments from 6.2% to 3.9% and in brand building from 5.5% to 3.9% are dramatic. Marketers anticipate social media spending will increase from 11% in the current period to 12.2% in the next 12 months and back up to 16.3% in the next five years, a spending level that was actually achieved in 2023. When asked how they would spend an extra $1 million of marketing budget, marketing leaders reported they would be most likely to use it to hire and develop talent. This is followed by digital advertising and marketing, brand building and awareness, and AI or automation. Optimism about the U.S. economy remains consistent at 67. This is on a 100-point scale where zero is least optimistic and 100 is most optimistic. After recent drops in optimism due to the dual threats of recession and inflation, this level continues to climb back in line with the post-pandemic high of 69.6 in August of 2021. Even with this maintained sense of optimism, inflationary pressures are still, on average, leading to a decrease in marketing spending levels. The decrease remains consistent with the second half of 2023 at 45%, but lower than one year ago when levels reached 52%. The 2024 CMO Survey Award for Marketing Excellence is selected by fellow marketers. It's given each spring to one company that's judged to set the standard for excellence in marketing across all industries, and the companies viewed as setting the standard in their own industries. Apple Inc. is the overall winner for the 16th straight year. Industry winners include Amazon, Nike, the Procter & Gamble Company, State Farm Insurance, and Microsoft. Three different reports summarize these and other 32nd edition results. The Highlights and Insights report shares key survey metrics and trends and insights over time. The Top Line report offers an aggregate view of survey results. And the Firm and Industry Breakout report examines results by company sector, headcount, and size. I hope these results are helpful in your work. Please write me with your questions and encourage other marketing leaders to participate in this effort. Your referrals are a great boost to our efforts to serve the profession with the CMO survey.